It's difficult having, you know, there's probably half a dozen people with us. And I think what we haven't gotten is it hasn't been as intimate as I thought it would. You know, I've been traveling around with Jason for four or five years now. Jason's a lady up there, do you know? Hey, how are you? Fantastic. Oh, just refreshing some memories. He's got a certain narrative to his life that he projects for the camera, um, which isn't necessarily the truth. It's his version of the truth. As soon as you get behind the scenes, as soon as you get a stills photographer, and you have three or four in the camera crew and a sound person and a couple of production people, you know, there's something lost in that. I think there's certainly something lost in the way Jason expresses himself as well. So that's probably the sacrifice you make when you get a few more people. You can capture things in a more aesthetic way and everyone's in sync with each other. But, you know, we're going into his brother's wife's house today and she expects there's gonna be two or three people. And as soon as she sees eight, nine, 10 people, it's a different energy and that affects what you capture on the camera, so. Gee, so how many have you got in this whole crew? This is the film crew. I'll be spending time with Jason by myself in the next couple of days, so hopefully in that way we can get down to a little bit more honesty. It'll also give him time to digest away from all this energy of everyone, what, uh, what's really going on for him now.